most of the world is ocean. Heck, most of you is ocean. And because there's so much water, there's a lot of stuff to be found hiding in those waters. And some of it will keep you up at night. These are 20 underwater discoveries that could not be explained. Number 20. Aquatic Stonehenge in Michigan The Stonehenge that we all know and love is very much an above-ground mystery of the highest order because we have no idea where it came from and why it's even like it is. But the impact of Stonehenge can be felt all over the world, so when, in 2007, a group of divers went into Lake Michigan to find some shipwrecks, they instead found a very unique set of stones that were planted into the lake's bottom. They very much called it an aquatic Stonehenge. To be more accurate to the Lake Michigan find, they claim that it was more like a building that was discovered, though that obviously doesn't exactly help to clear up the mystery of what it was. Not to mention the fact that it was 30 feet below the surface of the water, and that doesn't just happen. It was placed there for a reason, but nobody knows why. But wait, there's even more going on here than you may think. Key amongst it being the fact that there's a carving on one of the stones in the form of a mastodon, which shows that at the very least, the ones who drew it knew of the creature, possibly from the Ice Age. Now if you want to go and see the thing for yourself, well, you're kind of out of luck. And why is that? Because the local Native American tribes have asked that the exact location be kept a secret as they don't want a slew of people to come in and desecrate their lands, so they go and see a bunch of rocks at the bottom of a lake. Given how America did a lot more than just desecrate their lands, we should at least give them this. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Deep sea gigantism continues to baffle and astound scientists, and this jellyfish is a classic example of deep sea gigantism in action. Just look at the size of the thing. Given how painful a jellyfish thing can be, knowing that there are ones out there this big, yikes! That discovery will give you nightmares. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Iceland's Loch Ness Monster there are a lot of legends out there in the world, not the least of which are a ton about the world of monsters and the ones that might just exist out there in one place or another. You all likely know of the Loch Ness Monster that exists in Scotland and all the various videos and testimonies about it existing. Well, Iceland has their own version, and some experts honestly do think that the monster is real. Their version is known as something that I'm not about to even attempt to pronounce, and it's been caught on video multiple times via its winding way of swimming, and when it was caught on camera and then put online, naturally it would go viral. Legend has it that the worm, as they call it, had first been a small heather worm that was put onto a golden ring. This was done so that the gold would grow and the ring would become even bigger. But when the owner of the ring came to collect it sometime later, he then realized, to his great horror, that the worm had grown enormously, but the ring had not. The owner then threw the ring and the worm into the river, where the worm continued to grow. First of all, the guy was an idiot for thinking that the worm would grow the ring and not grow itself. It's just basic monster logic. Secondly, while you can judge for yourself about the lore, the fact is that some experts state that the worm is real in some context. It's not likely as big as Nessie, but that doesn't mean it's not a sight to behold. Number 18. Osborne Reef there are many people in the world today who like to think that humans do more good than harm. Those people are as dumb as the worm ring guy from the legend that I just told you about. Because while humans can do good, they tend to get in their own way more times than not, and the Osborne Reef is a great example of that, as we're still paying for that blunder today.
You know what an artificial reef is. They're the various kinds of man-made creations that are meant to give fish and other sea creatures homes in order to help save the oceans. It is a tactic that works when it's done properly. But in the case of the Osborne Reef, it was not done properly at all. Originally, they were going to use just concrete jacks to make the reefs, but then someone got the brilliant idea to use old tires instead. You can see where this one is going already. Well, it did fail, and it actually began to harm the environment and was literally labeled an environmental disaster. It got so bad, in fact, that the military would be brought in to handle it and use it as a place to do training while they cleaned up. It actually worked on both ends, but then in 2015, a civilian group started to do even bigger cleanups. As of 2019, one third of the tires had actually been removed from the water. And given everything that's happened in the last few years, I'm doubtful that much more progress has been made. Which is bad, because the waters are still full of tires that needs to be fixed. Number 17. Blue Water Current One of the things that surprised many people over the years is that the ocean will do things that no one really expects, both for better and for worse. For those off of the coast of British Columbia, they have something that can make their summer every year if they're good enough to spot it. You see, every summer there's an event known as the Blue Water Current, a warm, crystal clear current of water that flows from the open Pacific Ocean close to Canada's shore every summer, bringing with it a bounty of unusual open ocean species. But what exactly does that mean? Well, it means that fish that would usually be seen in the ocean would be seen just off the coast of the country. And I'm not talking about basic fish. I'm talking about things like the mola mola, which can weigh as much as a truck, as well as various kinds of sharks. And because it's very clear water, you can see them from the surface if you're lucky enough. So the question then becomes, why does the ocean do this? Well, it's honestly hard to say. The way that the ocean has various currents and motions have surprised people for decades. You may recall various experiments that are meant to do nothing more than see where various spots in the oceans lead to, and this would be another example of that. Granted, it only occurs in one spot in Canada, but that honestly makes it all the more intriguing. Then again, if it happened in more places, we could potentially study it as well. Number 16. Mortars There are a lot of things found in the ocean from wars across the ages. You'll find things from recent conflicts to the Great War and everything in between. Not everything got picked up, if you will, and at times it's discovered in the most shocking of ways. Case in point, back in 2011, a set of 87, that's right, an 8 and a 7, mortar bombs would be discovered on a beach in England. Now to be clear, they weren't just lying around, they were actually uncovered by nature itself via low tides and the right atmospheric conditions clearing the way for them to be revealed to all mankind. Oh, and the kicker? Well, the mortars were unexploded. Now, before you say anything, that does happen a lot, and they've been discovered in the water, dug up from the ground, and even more. So what exactly's happened here? Well, naturally, they brought in a bomb disposal unit, actually put them back into the water, and then made sure that they were at a good distance away before doing a safe detonation, and thus ensuring the threat was neutralized. For clarity, they dropped those bombs over 3,000 feet below the surface before detonating them, just to be safe, and you could still see a plume of water coming out when they blew up. Just to scare you a little bit, one of the people who came to take care of this mess would note that this was an unusual amount of ordnance to find in one spot, further adding to the mystery as to what the heck would lead that many bombs ending up on the beach. Number 15. Antarctic Blubber Human now it's time for our first ghost story of the depths, even though the last one could be the ghost of war's past, but I'll move on. In footage found a while back, a human-like blubber creature would be discovered swimming in the waters of Antarctica. If you somehow didn't know, those waters are freaking cold. So cold, in fact, that there are fish there that have literal antifreeze in their systems so they can survive in those depths without freezing over. Naturally, the footage is grainy and you don't really get a great shot of the person before the footage cuts out and you're then left wondering what it really was. Most people do agree that it's fake, as is the case with most videos like this, but let's look at it from their perspective. 
the item of the blubber. Could a human that's covered in blubber swim in the waters of Antarctica? Well, technically, yes. It'd be incredibly weird, and I can't promise how it would work long term, but if you do look at the creatures like a walrus, they're great swimmers, and the reason they survive is because of their size and their blubber. The fat keeps the heat in, and thus they're unaffected by the waters of the coldest continent. So the principle behind the video is sound enough, it's just that it's still fake. And if you're getting flashbacks to the magic school bus, well yes, they actually did something like this themselves when trying to discover how cold animals stay warm. Number 14. Australia's Oldest Summary when you're the first of just about anything in terms of technological development, you're almost doomed to fail. And I don't mean to be pessimistic about that. It's just that big leaps in technology are technically going to fail the first time around. And when it comes to submarines, well, yeah, that was definitely a work in progress of the highest order. Just about every country has a horror story or two of their first submarines, and the country of Australia had one so tragic that it took over 100 years to be discovered again. AE-1 was the first Allied submarine that was lost in the First World War, and the first ship that would be lost by the Royal Australian Navy. The submarine in operation for only seven months had been sent from Sydney to capture what was then German New Guinea in 1914. On the 14th of September, a day after Germany surrendered the colony, it simply disappeared. Naturally, this was very sad for Australia, and they've been searching for it for over 103 years, eventually finding it in 2017, showing just how good it was at hiding. While the initial cause of its disappearance is not known, an examination did seem to point to the fate of many early submarines, that being an accident that pierced the hull. It appeared to have been struck from the bottom with sufficient force, enough to dislodge its fin from its footing, forcing the hinge forward and on its leading edge, impacting the casing. History is not always full of great stories, but at least this ship and its crew got the proper send-off they deserved. Number 13. Sea Hare Something that honestly happens quite a bit in the world is creatures washing up on shore, and no one having a bloody clue about what they are and thus being freaked out about it in great numbers. True, sometimes it's not as bad as they think it is, and sometimes it's not even a real creature. It's just something in the ocean that's covered in things like seaweed to make it look like a monster. But in the case of Texas one time, they would find a blob-like creature that didn't freak them out. However, it did get them curious about what in the world they were looking at. And to be clear, they not only had pictures of the thing, but actual footage that clearly showed it wriggling around and thus being quite alive, as well as very odd. It was posted online and people swarmed in with their opinions about what it was and what it was not. Eventually though, the creature in question was revealed to be a sea hare, which I'll be honest, I didn't even know existed before this video being made. But if you were a part of Texas, you might know about it, as it's kind of a snail that was a resident in that area where it washed up. A members of Parks and Rec talked about the creature after it was identified, saying that as crazy as the sea hares may appear, they're not particularly rare or even special, and they're definitely not dangerous in any way. After the creature would be recorded, it was noted to have been returned to the water. Number 12. Hedonistic Roman Symbols not the heading you were probably expecting for an entry in this kind of video, but the fact is that history has a funny way of revealing itself at times, and this is one of them. Because this is the legend and infamy of the Roman town known as Baiae. Why was it so infamous? Well, to relate this to something that we can all acknowledge exists, this was the ancient Roman version of Las Vegas. It was the Roman version of a party town, and when I say party, I mean all of the dirty kinds. Hence the hedonistic Roman symbols that would be found when the place was rediscovered. Seven emperors, including Augustus and Nero, had villas here, as did Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony, and the poet Sextus Propertius described the town as a place of vice, which was foe to virtuous creatures. And when you have a poet whose name is Sextus, well, he can't be lying, can he? Unlike Las Vegas, Baie had a shelf life 
due to the fact that it was both sinking into the waters and was just so perfectly placed next to a super volcano, Rome does has all the luck, doesn't it? Thus, eventually, the town was sunken into the depths, and if you want to visit it now, you'll need some kind of scuba gear and be willing to go about 15 feet below the surface. If that's your definition of a party, then party on, dude. Number 11. Zuyo Maru Sea Monster now, sadly, we're not done with the whole sea monster theme because they are everywhere and they don't seem to ever want to end, especially when there are new sightings, such as with this one, which was started because of a unique carcass that would be discovered. This was the remains of a sea creature caught by the Japanese fishing trawler Zuyumaru off the coast of New Zealand in 1977. This would not be enough to start a scare. That was until those who examined it believed that it looked like an ancient reptile known as the Plesiosaur, a being that's been extinct for quite some time and as a result would be quite a thing if it was real in today's time. But when it was examined properly, it was found to possibly be the remains of a basking shark, or at best, the remains of an undiscovered creature, but definitely not an ancient one from very long ago. It needs to be said that when animals decompose, especially in the oceans, their bodies morph in ways that make it incredibly difficult to recognize them at times, so stories like these are honestly pretty common. Number 10. Nautilus Now we'll have a little fun. When I say Nautilus, what do you think of? Perhaps you think of a legendary ship from 20,000 leagues under the sea. Maybe you think of how it's a term that's used for various sea beings. Or do you think of the League of Legends character? If you said the last one, then you know what this story is about. Because if you're looking for one of the weirdest things to ever be put into the ocean, a super fan of League of Legends raised enough money to make an artificial reef of the champion from the game known as Nautilus and put it into the depths. Now naturally, once the fish made it their home, it looks nothing like the champion anymore, but I guess that means that the fish like the thing, so yeah, there you go. Seriously, you League of Legends fans are a little bit different. Number 9. Shark with a Human Face Sharks are something that many stories have been made out of for better and for worse, and you might have heard tales of sharks with unique features that can't easily be explained, like a shark with one eye or in this case, a shark with a human face. As you can see in the pictures, which are absolutely definitely not fake, this shark really does look like it has a human face, but how could it be like this? The answer is that when fishermen from Indonesia caught the shark, it was still in the stomach of its mother. That's right, it's an unborn baby shark, and thus all of its features were not yet formed. That doesn't mean that I'm not freaked out by the sight of this thing, because I totally am, but there's a reason for that, as creepy as it is. Though it should be noted that the other two baby sharks did not look like this thing at all. Number 8. HMHS Britannic Do you know the irony of the ship known as the HMHS Britannic? It's a ship that's part of a family of ships, three sister ships in fact, and all three of them sank. You definitely know its most famous sibling, the Titanic. She was sank when a naval mine was planted by German forces in World War I, and since 1916, it has laid 400 feet below the surface of the Key Channel in the Aegean Sea. Not the fate that many had hoped for for this vessel, and for pretty much 100 years, people have been trying to figure out what to do with it, which includes whether or not to turn it into a tourist destination. Until then, it's just not going anywhere. Number 7. Magna Pina Squid Now I've shown you some fun stories, you can agree to that, but now it's time to terrify you, because in 2007, an expedition to check on a spot of water by the Shell Company found something that nobody would expect. A creature that nobody had ever seen before, and one that looked to be a servant of the future destroyer of the world, Cthulhu. Meet the Magna Pina Squid, aka the Long-Armed Squid. And as you can see, this creature doesn't look like any other squid or octopus that you know because of its angled arms. Those things can go really deep, and this thing exists 8,000 feet below the depths, just a few thousand feet from where Cthulhu is said to rest. Number 6. Havopetri 
If there's one thing history absolutely loves to do, it's to sink cities from ancient cultures. Egypt, Rome, Greece, England, and eventually the United States, if global warming keeps raising the ocean levels, have all experienced this at least once over. And in the case of Greece, they apparently have the oldest sunken city in the world via Pavo Petri. This sunken city isn't only old, it's said to be over 5,000 years old. It's located just off the coast of southern Laconia in the Pilo Ponce Peninsula peninsula in Greece and is unique for having an almost complete town plan with tombs, streets, and buildings. Now, I don't know exactly what caused the sinking of this city, but the overall belief is that it was an earthquake or another natural disaster, which is usually what causes these sinkings in the first place. Number 5. The Hook Island Monster so close to the end, and yet here's another monster story for you. Sorry, but you can't escape them that easily. The Hook Island monster is found on, wait for it, Hook Island, which can be found off the coast of Queensland near Australia. The island is known to be mostly uninhabited, except when some pictures would be taken of a monster during an overview of the island itself. It features a gigantic tadpole-like monster supposedly encountered in Stonehaven Bay, Hook Island. These would circulate around, as you would imagine, and thus created the belief that there was indeed a monster on Hook Island, even though there's no known proof of any such thing. However, due to the fact that the area is known for real monsters like the Komodo dragon and certain legends of monsters from long ago still being alive, you might understand why people are curious about which category that this creature falls into. Number 4. Sunken Tanks as noted before, there are all sorts of remnants from previous wars that you'll find in the oceans of the world. From weapons to ammunition to planes to ships, they all have a place in the ocean now. But if you were to go to Pool Bay, you would find something most unexpected. And by that, I mean that you would find a set of sunken tanks from World War II. Well, they could have sunk when they fell off a ship, right? Well, that would be a fair guess, and you would be wrong. Because back in the planning of D-Day, which took quite a while on various fronts, the Allied forces tried to figure out the best and most easy way to get their tanks from various ships to the shore. This also included aquatic and floating tanks, and if you recall history, these were never a factor because they all failed, including on D-Day itself. So as such, many of these tanks are simply sunk and aren't going anywhere, but at least we all tried. Number 3. Sunken City of Cuba now, I've already talked about sunken cities before, but one off the coast of Cuba? Well, that's not something you would expect. And in fact, when it was discovered, the people who found it couldn't believe it either. Just like you can't believe that I'm pronouncing it Cuba, which is actually the right way to do it. It was found pretty deep and was completely mismatched with the rest of the area. So was it proof of a lost civilization that had their city sunk like many before? Well, this is where things do get weird, because nobody really knows. And the media simply treated it with such fervor in regards to it being a hoax, even though it wasn't even proven to be that, that nobody still knows the answers. Clearly something is down there, and if nothing else, curiosity should lead everyone to wanting to know more. Number 2. Sea Spiders now, I'm going to keep this one quite quick because, frankly, spiders are terrifying. Everybody hates them with all that they have in their hearts, and talking about aquatic ones doesn't make me feel any better in the slightest. The reason I'm mentioning these, though, is the fact that these sea spiders are deep-sea creatures that have baffled quite a few people for various reasons. For example, they're apparently blind. They breathe through their legs, and they use a special straw appendage in order to eat. It's all pretty weird, but they are very weird-looking animals indeed, and nobody can disagree with that. But this is part of the mystery and the allure of the ocean. We don't know every creature that's down there and why they are the way they are, so it just continues to be another mystery. Number 1. The Lost City of Mahabalipuram now, while we do know a lot about lost cities of the world, there's one that might still be in the works of being rediscovered, and that would be the lost city of Mahabalipuram in India. According to legend, this was a city that was once so beautiful that the gods sent a wave in to sink it. Since then, parts of the city have been found, including relics that were clearly man-made, but ironically, a part of the city was revealed after a tsunami would hit the country, further adding to the mystery of the lost city itself. If this is indeed that legendary city, that would not only be a boom for India and its culture, but it could rewrite some things about history as a whole. 
That's all from the various waters of our world and the weird things that we found in them. Can you believe that this is some of the stuff that's been found in the oceans and seas? And which of these things did you find the most mysterious or unexplainable? And do you know of any other thing that would be perfect on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.